Hello friends, welcome back to Belle's Library. I'm Heather. Today we are going to be reacting to my self-destruct video that I did, I think about a year ago. When I pull it up, I will check. Um, but basically I was trying to read, I think it was 12 books in 12 months. It might've been 10. We'll find out in a minute, but I'm gonna react to how it went with those books. Um, if I read them, if I didn't, if I plan to unhaul them, if I already did unhaul them, what happened since last year this time when I made this video? Um, so if you have not seen or heard of this video concept, basically what you do is select uh, however many books you plan on doing and a time period. And you basically need to read those books within that time period or you have to unhaul them from your shelves because you're not getting to them. And so that's what I did. Um, I'm pretty sure I had kind of chosen some books that I was really excited to read and just like kept not picking up off my shelves. So it was kind of like, hey, let's force us to pick these things up. And then there was also some books that I was like not as interested in anymore. So it was either like, you need to read them or you need to get rid of them kind of a thing. So we'll kind of see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be pulling up the video watching along and reacting with you guys to how it went. Before we jump into me reacting though, if you haven't already, please get down below, click subscribe, hang out a while. I also have my Goodreads down there, my Instagram and my Storygraph. So we can chit chat books on all of the different channels. Um, I would absolutely love to have you here. So go ahead and do that real fast. And I'm gonna get my headphones in and get the video ready to go. Okay, guys, here we go. Here's my intro. Hi friends, welcome back to Bell's Library. Oh, I'm smoke. Heather. The last house and we lived in. Today we're gonna do a video that I'm a little okay, nervous so let's to just be doing. Skip the I'm intro. gonna do one of the get into these books will self-destruct in 12 okay, tier. We have on the stack here is Gone Girl by Gone Girl. Jillian. Totally forgot this was on and there. I actually have read so, one of her short stories. The I didn't read this one and I actually unhauled it already. Uh, because I was trying to unhaul stuff before we moved out here to Tennessee, and I just decided no go on this one. So, okay, let's just keep the going. The next book I have here is Star Daughter. Daughter. This is that by one. Shveta I tried to read. I do not want to get rid of this book because it is gorgeous. It is These beautiful. purple sprayed edges are just it's really not great. stunning. This is a. So, I read 75% of this one and I ended up DNFing it. I found the characters to be really annoying. I just, I couldn't do it. So I'm probably going to get rid of this one. It's just harder because it is beautiful, but it just wasn't for me. So I probably will unhaul this one. And then we have The Darkest, the Darkest Minds. Minds. This is by Alexandra Bracken. I unhauled this one as well for the same reason. So I guess some of these I may have just unhauled, um, but I ended up, I think I did a try chapter and read the first chapter and I was kind of like, meh. Um, and I decided to get rid of it because I just didn't have enough room in my car to make it to Tennessee with all of my books. So uh, this one's gone as well. So that's like three books basically that I'm going to have unhauled out of these. Then we have Two Truths This is not very entertaining you guys. I unhauled this one too. I actually won this through a great read it. giveaway. Uh, and I think I was kind of intrigued when I was reading it. And I was like, yeah, we'll do yeah. this giveaway. And then I think I did this with the Try Chapter as well and it just didn't really pull me in and I got rid of it. The Bookish Life of Nina hey, Hill. I read this one. By Abby Waxman has I did. I actually just recently read this one because I knew it was going to come up on this, this is list. This book I, I had heard, heard about before. that I was like, eh, I mean, I would read it, but I wasn't like... It was pretty cute. I, really I probably will keep it. It wasn't like anything incredibly amazing, uh, but it was definitely worth the read. One. I thought it was cute. Was trying to help me find a book. And we yeah, she kept pulling out that she books, and I was like, me. no, that's, like, I really am not interested in these books that she keeps pulling out, and I feel bad, and so then she pulls this one out, and I was like, I've actually seen that one, and it seemed like, eh, maybe a little interesting, and so I was yeah. like, okay, yeah. My daughter, she convinced me to get that one. Okay, so yeah. this next one is Paper Towns by John Green. I have not read a John I, Green book, but I own I three of his books. Um, I, was I think I read this one. Put all of them on here, I read this I one, Let's just read and one and I didn't really so enjoy it very much, I so I unhauled it, those. and I think I had so. other John Green books on my shelf, and I unhauled those too. So, this one so is about quite a bit of those. Margo kind of, and Hugh, and gone. Margo so, loves yeah. mysteries. Yeah, I remember she's talking Hugh, about the synopsis, I did read this uh, one. Or Quentin? 
Nope, nope. Maybe he goes by. So the next one is one. one of us is lying. I it. And this is it's by gone. Karen in This is just Janus. a video and of basically books we have I like this group of teenagers and, not and I believe one of them ends up dying and they're like around. And <sighs> Maybe I should just like put that unfall slash try chapter video that I did. I should just link that because then you can kind of see a little more thoughts of what I actually thought of these. Been wanting to read this book, Hungry Hearts, this and this is a so collection of short stories. So it's by a whole bunch of different. It was authors. cute. There's 13 tales of food and love. Book. When I first heard about this book, I just thought it sounded really cute and sweet. You basically have this little town, and there's a bunch of different little food places. I think I ended up unhauling it because I was like, I don't think I'm going to reread this again. Um, it was an okay anthology, but it wasn't like something I planned on, you know, trekking across the country with me. But it was really cute, and if you like anthologies, I thought it was pretty fun. Okay, so another one that I really want to read this to one. Is I really like this one. Beautiful is not ruined really by good. Danielle Young Ullman, and there was another book by her that I really wanted to get to as well. I just I've heard that her writing is really beautiful. See, I have and it. There's just something that's interesting <laughs> about. Uh, so there's that one. Yay! I did keep one. Yeah, I'm like falling out of this bean bag here. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. I was like, I would be more chill and more comfy and just be in my daughter's bean jag chair. Ugh. Maybe a little too old for that. Okay. What do we got? So then we've got Ooh, another the one that I did read and I really like this one too. Oh man. I'm going to try this again. I have a couple of on my shelves here that I need to get to. I thought oh, the writing is really good as well. Yes. And I heard that this is a total tear jerker. Hey! Um, we got a couple that we read and enjoyed. I think I gave that one four stars and that one four and a half stars I believe but yeah they were really good and this one I actually lock haven't had for too long was on but here? Lock Door I by Ryan Sager I read Home Before Dark last oh I definitely read this one this is my favorite Riley Sager book absolute favorite I probably would have to stand up to get this one Another one okay. I really want to get to so is this the last one. Magician by Lisa Maxwell. I've been seeing this one quite a bit around booktube recently. Okay, so this one I have not unhauled and I have not read, but I decided like halfway through when I, after I made this video, that I wasn't going to include this one or give myself punishment because I could have started this one, but I didn't want to start another new series uh, because I have too many that I've started. So I am holding on to this one. I'm not getting rid of it, even though I haven't read it. I really want to read this one. I just am trying not to start more series if I don't have to. So that's where that's at. Next book, A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. This is a Read Beauty and the Beast retelling. I have a blog of it so doing this is different like a Beauty and the Beast retelling. retelling. And that one was really fun. And I'm doing another retelling video soon. So you'll see. I haven't decided which retelling I want to do, but that's coming. Anyways, I did. I read this one. It was good. Oh, this next one is Skyward by Brandon oh, Sanderson. Skyward. I See, this is getting into the books that I was like, I decided to read yet, it to see if it could like off, off my shelf. This one, love, love, loved. My first Brandon Sanderson. It was wonderful. It makes me want to read more from him. I need to continue this series. This was a really, really good sci-fi one. The last book is Sorcery of Thorns, oh, okay. and that's by Margaret last Rogerson. Book. Sorcery of Thorns. Read it and unhauled it. This one I was excited for, but I didn't enjoy it very much. Yeah, it just didn't, it just didn't go, guys. It just didn't. So, there we go. So, I've got a few books here that, well, a couple books that I read and enjoyed. A couple more, Skyward and Lock Every Door, I still have and I enjoyed. And then a couple other books that I read but unhauled. And then a bunch that I didn't read that I unhauled. And one last book that I did not read, and I'm not not calling. <laughs> so that was really just all over the place, wasn't it? Okay, so how many books was that? Two, three, um, four, five, six. There eight, it is. Five, a whole bunch of books. Uh, is that let 15 me know books? if I should prioritize Girl, what were you thinking? So okay, so when did I make this? 15 books in 12 months, it says in the title. And this one came out. Well, it says that this one I actually published in June, so I'm a little late making this reaction video, and I think I read some of these in July. But, you know what? That's okay. We're just a little behind. I mean, it was partially through June. I don't know. Anyways, that's kind of where the update is with those guys. Um, 
So yeah, that was fun. I'm going to have to make another grouping of self-destruct books. I don't know if I'll put quite that many on it though, because uh, that was very ambitious of me. But I didn't do too bad, although I did not read like half of them. I just unhauled them, but you know, what can you do? Anyways, I hope you guys are having a really great reading day, gear month, all of it, and I will talk to you guys soon.